फ्रेंड्स लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड द कॉमन इशू इन कैलकुलेशन ऑफ एनडब्ल्यूसी नेटवर्किंग कैपिटल आई विल स्टार्ट विद सम विद अ बेसिक एग्जांपल दिस इज अ बैलेंस शीट दिस इज अ बैलेंस शीट सो हेयर आर नॉन करंट लाइबिलिटीज नॉन करंट लाइबिलिटीज हेयर आर करंट लाइबिलिटीज हेयर आर नॉन करंट एसेट्स देर आर करंट एसेट्स so you know this one basic thumb rule in uh, finance industry that these current liabilities these current liabilities cannot be used to finance these non current assets the current liabilities can be used to finance the current assets only so the so that means the financiers the uh, the providers of current liabilities who have given these current liabilities these short term funds to us who have given these short term funds to us it can be the creditors it can be the bank those who have given these short term funds to us these short term funds are given to us to create the current assets only right these funds are not given to create the non current assets please remember this thing because this is the base of our discussion in this video today so let us start class number 39 issue in the calculation of nwc nwc means current assets minus current liabilities current assets minus current liabilities total current assets total current liabilities right so what does current assets represents current assets represents total investments done in day to day operations of the business this is the basic meaning of current assets current liabilities are the financiers this is the support received from the vendors involved in day to day operations the vendors which are involved which are helping us in our day to day operations are giving us support so we can pay them later we can fund their we can use their funds to make more current assets to finance our current assets their funds are restrictive in nature their funds are restrictive in nature we cannot use their funds to create the non current assets this is the basic thumb rule that we have studied and which is applied across industry right so now what is the error that we have seen in the nwc so first let's lead some theory they are the financiers who have built these current assets right they cannot build any other asset in the, in other words they cannot we cannot use their funds to create long term assets because principally short term funds can be used only for short term investments only right but here is the catch what does current liabilities consist of current liabilities include short term portion of a long term debt also the principal which is payable in the next 12 months is also included in your current liabilities right suppose you have taken a machinery term loan of rupees 10 lakhs suppose you have taken a machinery term loan of rupees 10 lakhs your per month principal repayment is rupees 10000 you are paying 10000 rupees per month repaying 10000 rupees per month as principal amount so in the next 12 months you are about to pay 1 lakh 20000 rupees in principal for the machinery term loan right so that 1 lakh 20000 rupees which is payable in next 12 months will be shown as a part of current liabilities in your balance sheet if these are they are part of your current liabilities that means they will come part of your nwc as well right but this 1 lakh 20000 rupees tell me guys are uh, whether we have invested these funds for creation of current assets or creation of current liabilities uh, or non current assets these 1 lakh 20000 rupees loan that we have taken is used for creating a non current asset non current asset only it is not used to create any current asset right but we have studied principally that these current liabilities are the one which are only used for creation of current assets because current liabilities cannot be used to create any long term asset right so there is a principal disconnect if we use these long term portion of a short term portion of a long term debt in our nwc and current liabilities calculation so uh, we were studying that they will they, they will be shown as a part of current liabilities but these 1 lakh 20000 rupees are not used to create any current assets they are used to create only fixed assets we have bought machinery with it right 
but we are taking it part of the current liabilities and thus reducing our NWC because we are increasing our current liabilities and correspondingly there is no impact on our current assets because these funds are not used in creation of current assets. These current liabilities funds are principally used to create the current liabilities only, right? So which principally means long term sources invested in short term assets. So these 120,000 rupees are the long term sources which, uh, which are invested in short term assets. Uh, sorry, NWC means the long term sources invested in short term assets. Thus, this principle is getting defeated, rightly so. As soon as we consider EMI of a capex loan as a part of current liability, we are defeating this principle of NWC. NWC represents the long term sources invested in short term assets, right? But when we count the short term portion of long term debt in current liabilities, we are principally defeating the thumb rule here, right? So this thing gets corrected in WCG calculations automatically because in WCG calculations, we exclude all type of bank finance. We do not count the bank finance in our current liabilities calculations. So thus, this difference gets corrected in working capital gap calculation, right? So that is why banks trust WCG calculations more in their calculation rather than the NWC, right? So this is the basic uh, th uh, principal mistake that we have found in NWC calculation. I hope you will be having some opinion on this as well. I would love to see your opinions in the comment box. See you in the next video. Thank you very much.